Time now for our rants and raves, starting with Dan Kennedy. I have a rave uh, for Shelley Cohen, the outgoing editorial page editor of the Boston Herald. Uh, the sale to Digital First Media becomes final on Monday. And Shelley revealed in a column uh, today on Friday that she will not be one of those sticking around. It was a very classy mm -hmm, column, uh, wishing well to everybody, uh, expressing the hope that uh, the Herald will continue to be an important institution in the city, something we all hope, something I think we're all skeptical yeah. about given Digital First record. They just went through some devastating cuts in Denver this week. But good for Shelley Cohen. She left on a high note, and I wish her well. Yeah, I agree. All right, Adam. Uh, I'm going to also rave for Boston Globe columnist Yvonne Abraham, who has really had a remarkable run when it comes to covering the State House. She's the one who dug into sexual harassment allegations against then State Senate President Stan Rosenberg's husband. He's no longer the State Senate President because of her reporting. Uh, this week, she broke the story of the harassment that uh, a state representative, uh, Diana DeZoglio, so she experienced after when she was a staffer, there were some intimations of inappropriate conduct between her and another guy in the building. Uh, she says she took a lot of sort of gross treatment at the hands of people in the state house. She ended up signing a non-disclosure agreement. Long story short, <laughs> that was a debate that popped on the floor of the house this week. You had this remarkable spectacle. You never see this in Massachusetts politics. Two Democrats calling out Bob DeLeo, the very powerful yeah. Speaker of the House, on the floor of the House. Again, this never happens, and I think it is uh, largely because of Yvonne Abraham's reporting. So she is on a hot streak, and it's really, really fun to follow. Yeah, she's been she's been all over that. Forced for sure. to be reckoned with, yeah. yeah. And I think she's going to end up the, being the reason why Stan Rosenberg doesn't. I mean, my guess is oh, absolutely. he's not coming. Yeah, it looks that way. Certainly not in that in that venerable position, Kelly. So I'm raving about uh, Shepard Smith. People may know he's a longtime anchor on Fox News, and he's the guy who's not on the opinion side on the primetime shows. He's the guy that does the news straight. He has acquitted himself many times by, uh, particularly in live events. He's really excellent during live events. What's happened in recent years as the opinion people have gone writer and writer is that he stays saying, it's not my job to do that. My job is to tell you what is going on. And so he's, you know, there's some friction between oh, yeah. he and Hannity. Um, and in fact, at the announcement that he has just signed a multiple year deal with Fox, which some wondered would happen given that kind of tension going on, uh, Sean put out a note saying, uh, it's too bad he doesn't realize what we do here. We're doing real news, too, and so did Laura Ingram. Well, that's because, uh, yes. just to fill in, Shep Smith said, they can say whatever they want. Right. It doesn't matter whether it's fact. They can say opinion. And so Sean fought back saying, oh, yeah, we break all kinds of news. I noticed he didn't mention Seth Rich as being one of the stories that he broke. Right. He's <laughs> getting sued over that this week. Right. Same thing with Laura Ingram. She said, we break real news, too. Yeah, name one. The point one. is, name he, one. Yeah, I, yeah I, nobody can name one. So the point is that there's Shepard Smith. You know, staying there, port in the storm for people who want to get news. And his ratings are quite high. He's beating yeah. Wolf Blitzer every day at five. So there you go. All right. Good for him. Yeah. Dan. So I have a rant as well, or sorry, a rave, uh, yeah. actually, for Orb Media. You know, all this week we've heard the story of plastic in bottled water. I, I was fascinated by it. Um, and this is a news organization, nonprofit organization in Washington, D.C., and they do investigative journalism. And it's great when someone can dig into something and uncover something that you weren't even thinking about, you didn't even know existed. And there's still a lot of uh, questions about whether, you know, there is any lasting impact to this, but it is leading a lot of organizations now to start looking at this very seriously. The World Health Organization is uh, launching a review into it. So um, I have to rave anytime. Mm -hmm. Small organization, but still going out there and uncovering stories that uh, that can change uh, some policies, perhaps. Had you heard about them before this? I had, I not. had not. I had not. I had not. I had not. Um, so that again, we yep. we expect sometimes that it's the big news organizations that have the money and the time to dig into different kinds of things and expose it. But they not only came up with this, then they teamed up with some researchers who were able to uncover, you know, mm -hmm. what is inside your bottled water. Yeah. All right. Well, finally tonight, I have a rave tonight for John Skipper. He's the former head of ESPN Sports. And if you all might, might remember, last mid-December, in the height of the Me Too movement, he quit suddenly. Everybody assumed it had to do with, uh, you know, sexual harassment. But it turns out he had a drug problem. He had a severe cocaine problem, he, which he said didn't affect his work. 
but he ended up buying cocaine from somebody who shook him down, blackmailed him. And he went to Bob Iger at, C at ABC, the head of Disney, and said, uh, you know, I'm in an untenable position here. You know, this guy's shaking me down. Iger said, you have to resign. So now he's, he's telling his story. He's admitting what happened to him. I mean, he, he's, you know, he, he loved his job. He, was, he hopes to work again. I just give him credit. I guess in some ways I think he wanted to make it clear what happened because it was so sudden. But I, it took a couple of months and it came out. And this week he told us what happened. Give him well, some you know, that's another um, score for, for drug counselors saying it happens everywhere and at yeah. every level. Yeah, and white here's guy, this guy at this high wealthy level. Wealthy white guy. Yeah. yeah, there you go. With a coke habit. Right.